Welcome back to What Are She Nibs for General Disturbance. This is an A46. It's a tier 6 British premium light tank. It's located on the north spawn of Overlord and it's under the command of Picklefish 44. And he sent us in two replays to fit into one video. Let's see how he gets on in this one. Game on. Well, it's a 76 millimeter main gun, which is capable of doing 105 alpha with 105 millimeters of pen. With standard ammo and with the APCR, it should do 138 millimeters of pen. With the HE rounds, it's capable of 150, but it'll only penetrate 38 millimeters. This is a light tank that was supposed to replace the M5 Stuarts after the war ended, or rather in 1945. It was first designed in 1943 they were going to go ahead and build it but instead they didn't they didn't need to the war was over amx decides not to shoot what he's doing at the moment he's spotting our leopard it's gone ahead and i think he's in grave danger because here comes an enemy t67 we can shoot at him and we do put around into him get 110 now he could have loaded the HE for the T67 because he would have penetrated him with just the standard HE he definitely goes after the AMX because yeah no way he's not going to pen that guy now this is a premium tank that was actually given out a while back if you completed uh, a particular mission I didn't go for it actually I decided not to it's part of the FE300 program, this tank. So it's um, a kind of uh, British program to not homogenize, but certainly to update all British fighting vehicles. A bit like the Invictlong series, you might say. Well, that Cromwell B made a big mistake as he crested the ridgeline and gave us a big outline to shoot at. Okay, we've got enemy tanks trying to go and come around on our left. So whilst we're looking at that Cromwell, and he gives us another shot, we're conscious now that we need to keep an eye on what's going on to the left. Cromwell pops up again. Thank you. I'll have that. He's being very obliging, but I notice that we're popping up to the same spot each time, which is going to give the enemy a chance to put around into us. It's best to vary your position every now and then, just in case. And that guy just knocked a tree down. There he is, VK2801. And because we hit him, somebody else hit him as well. Okay, the enemies looks like they're massing for an attack on the east side of the map. So it's probably not a good place to be right now. And he's going to relocate. He can see the dangers of what's going on. And he needs to have some teammates. And yeah, some shells are starting to rain in from that direction and he's decided that he's better off falling back and regrouping and we just lost one of our Panzer Pia Ausserung H's so they're arty okay so he's now going to take up a position over here as a spotter and moving forward in the trees he spotted a few including a VK 3001H he can shoot that guy using the bush mechanic and he gets one in and two Penetration. standard reload 4.08 seconds he's got 3.93 and so PS spike gets around in can he get another one in that might kill him oh leaves him on 20 we did get spotted pull back yeah it might be that m10 that saw us and so we're better off changing position and going back around coming up somewhere else so that he can't see where we are it definitely looks like the enemy's massing for their attack obviously they know not to go down on the beach because going down on the beach is basically a complete waste of time and you'll know that if you watch uh, any of the games or the videos by um, Honest Gaming Steve Walst because he tells you going to the beach is a complete waste it's useless because it takes you ages to get back off the beach and in all the time it takes you to do that you're likely to come a cropper whilst the guys up here like to cause absolute mayhem okay bk 
Gets one in. Just as guy's pulling back so he can't return fire. This thing doesn't have a huge amount of gun depression. Well, nine degrees is okay. Oh, he missed the opportunity to get the M10 there. I uh, did get spotted again, and I think it might be that AMX 13 FL11. Somebody saw us. Now, if he knocks the tree down directly in front of us, that might help. Okay, get the Panzer Fear. Pump one into him. Oh, big one! 118. It's one shot, and it's a kill. Knock the tree down, because that will give us extra cover. Because somebody's definitely spotting us up ahead. And I think it might be him. Every now and then, he's popping up, getting a look, and popping back down again. Because he's closer than the others. He's actually over the ridge line and he's just sitting in that little corner. There he is again. He's popped back up. Well, we missed. Will we get spotted? No. But he is vulnerable now because he's kind of parked himself away from his teammates. So we can come over the ridge line and thank you very much. We'll have a round on you. Well, he didn't get one there, but he is circling the guy now. And. Two. And he did take another, but kill shot. Yes, he got him. And we managed to get away without taking any more damage. We did take one round from the VK301H, though, with an APCR round. And there he is. But he's a one shot. Not a one shot for us, but he's certainly a one shot for some of our teammates. Okay, now he's a one shot. Now we can nail him with just one round. Only two hit points. We're going to come up slightly behind him. And he won't see us coming until it's too late. His gun's pointing in our direction, but he won't reckon on this. Thank you very much. Good night. Now pull back because there is a wreck in front of us. There's only three enemies remaining. Oh, the M10 looked like he just got hit. No, he didn't. <laughs> I'm wrong. Okay. Now we might need to get over that. Oh, he's gone anyway. We spotted for that. The Junu got him. Okay, so now the enemy is at the back. They've only got a Cromwell B and a Fifi, and there's the Fifi. He's in sight. Now go for the gun shield. That's one. Go for it again. Oh, the kill shot goes to the Junu. And we got the spotting off that. That means now it's just the Cromwell B, and he's got 291 hit points. He's over by the cap area, so we might as well just motor over as fast as we can. This is going to be a good game. Good results. He's got 1,778, but he did get spotted. And there's the guy, and he's only 90 hit points. And the kill shot goes to the T67. So that is game over, and it's a victory. Here's the end of battle stats, and that was an ace tanker game for Picklefish44 in the A46. He managed to get a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. He also got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly, as well as a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him and a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. He also picked up a bruiser medal as well for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got seven and his win rate in that game was 10,014, which is more than super unicum standard. It's quite a bit more. Let's have a look at team score and see where he was. Well, he got the highest damage on his team and the highest damage in the game, but it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit pool, so he missed out on the high caliber. The second highest damage in the game actually went to the Junu on his team, who got a steel wall and 1,628 hit points of damage. And the third highest, well, that went to one of the mystery tanks on the enemy team, 1,624. At the time of this video, it hadn't been loaded in, so we don't know which one it was. But I presume if we watch the video, we probably would know who that was. But anyway, when it came to kills, he got the highest number of those as well. Four kills to Picklefish, three kills to the Junu and to that mystery tank. And two kills went to the Wolverine, another mystery tank, and the Junu on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, he's got that one too as well. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,218 went to Picklefish, 832 went to the Junu, and the next highest was the M4A1 with 638. And Picklefish was the only one to get over 1,000 base at 1,218. He fired 25 rounds, but only 19 of those hit the target. But if all of those 19 shells actually did penetrate. 
1,778 hit points of damage, of which 433 were at more than 300 meters. He received four hits from the enemy. Unfortunately, all four penetrated. The armor on this tank is very, very poor indeed. It is a light tank. It was supposed to go fast, 60 kilometers an hour. So you can't have a lot of weight if that's the case. So it has very low armor. And consequently, the shells did pen. He spotted two enemy vehicles, damaged nine of the enemy, killed four, and did 1,128 hit points of spotting assist in that game, which is basically a combined damage of 2,800, nearly 900 damage. On a premium count, he actually made a loss on this one, 19,644 credits, mainly down to the ammunition choice. He did use the APCR because, of course, it does have better pen, but as a consequence, he had to pay for it, and he lost all the credits he made from the battle, and lost some more on top of that. But he did get a mission completion reward of 10,962 experience points, and his total went to 13,337, so it was a good result in that sense. So a nice little first game where you get an ace tanker in an A46. Let's have a look at the second replay and see how well Picklefish gets on in that one. The second replay is in the Super Chappy, the M26, oh, it's M26, M24E2 Super Chappy, and he's on the North Spawn of Mines. Let's see how he gets on in this three mark Super Chappy. Yeah, it's kind of excessive having a three mark light tank, but I suppose if you really like it, play it. Okay, well, he's headed south, and I presume he's going over the island rather than going directly south. That would be a bit uh, suicidal, to be honest. But, uh, yes, I think he wants to get some spotting beforehand. And he's looking for those enemy tanks. Found one. T-3485 takes a round. He's going to try and get another one in. And he does. He gets that one in as well. Now, the gun's a 76mm, like the A46, but it's capable of doing 115 alpha, and it's got 120mm of pen with a standard ammo, and with a premium, 155mm. So there's not much he's going to fail to pen with the premium rounds, although I suspect that he might have been using the premium rounds to get it three marks, uh, because a lot of players do, and therefore he's using his arty game uh, yes, because Picklefish44 does play arty. He's probably using his arty games to fund his three marking on the other vehicles. Well, he's got a teammate just ahead of him, a Thunderbolt. Now, he's got a little more armor. You've got to watch out for these gaps, because if the enemy sees you where you are, they will shoot from that area over there and try and hit you whilst you're on this island. So, I, I would tend to sit over there, you see, behind that tree. And it looks like the T-3485 is retreating. We moved up against the rock and we weren't able to get a shot in, but he's about to go up through that pass. And when he does, we should be able to get a shot into him at distance. There he is. One into the engine bay. Oh, we got a fire. And another shot. Can he get the kill? Yes, he does. Very well done. And he wasn't spotted. Now, as far as we know, there's nobody on the South Island. In which case, and we might as well occupy it, because it's more territory for us. And it means that we can shoot at the enemy tanks as they're going up the south side of the hill. And this is really good for us. There are two RT on the enemy team. They've got a Hummel and an SU-8, and they should be able to suppress us if they know we're over here. But so long as we keep right up against the back edge of the map, they're going to have a hard time trying to get a shell over onto us. Look at this, it's very, very creative. He's actually got a nice little position here. And now he's putting rounds into the rear of a KV-2. He's going to be very annoyed. That's his second kill. Okay, we've got a Tiger. Tiger 131 as well. And he's not going to be happy that he's being shot from behind whilst he's trying to engage an enemy in front of him. Oh, that one hit the track. That one didn't go through the armor on the side of the turret, but that's a kill shot. And that's his third kill. 
I think the enemy's getting the message, even though we're actually uh, behind at the moment. In fact, Picklefish is the only one who's got a kill on our team at the moment. But look at this, he's now taking on a VK3601H, and he should be able to kill this guy with two shots. Okay, the M10 pulls back. Oh, is it? It's not an M10, it's, it's a T21, actually. But it looks like that VK went down. So two other members of his team have now got damage. We've got kills. And Picklefish is still their lead scorer. Always oh, found an enemy though. It is a Jackson. 19mm gun. M10 basically. We don't want this guy to get around into us. But he's gonna circle the guy and start putting rounds into him. And we did get another one in. We have to back off because there's another Jackson nearby. And he does get a return shot. Oh, the Jackson's got the 75 millimeter or 76 millimeter. He only hit us for 116. So he must have the stock gun. Okay, we're going to sit around this corner for the moment. We're two up on the enemy now. So it's a major turn of events. The, the Thunderbolt hasn't joined us. He should be coming this way. We could do with his help. But he's just sitting there at the back on the middle island it's almost like he wants us to fail so he can then get the benefit and a kill shot on the jackson now where's that other jackson oh somebody fired at us from the hill it's the t21 it's one of the tanks we fired at before there's another jackson oh and he has got the 90 millimeter that's 219 that's a low roll but the kill shot went to the Skoda, or was it? No, not the Skoda. We got the Jackson, but the T21 was taken out by the Skoda. So now we can get the enemy RT. And in this case, it's a Hummel SU-8. So we might as well get them out of the game. And that'll just leave two left. The M6 and T3485. There's the SU-8. We've got a shot from here. We fire on the move. There's the Hummel. So we've got to pick one. He fires into the SU-8. Oh, we took a shotgun. But he goes down to the RM-44. The Hummel goes down to the Hummel on our team, which now means that we've got the advantage of Dickamax just dived off the cliff to try and kill. And now we've got the M6. So we're going to pass to him with shells. He obviously likes this, uh, Chaffee. You can tell he's having a ball. And that's going to be another kill. And that is his top gun. And that's the game. He's won. Three marks. Wow. I think you can now see why Picklefish44 has the three mark super chappy. If he handles like that, yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. He got an ace tanker out of that game, as well as a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. Duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him. Five for effect for doing more damage than hit points to his own vehicle. Bruiser for getting at least five critical hits. He got seven. He got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that game. A top gun for getting at least six kills. And a tank sniper for getting the most damage at 300 meters or more. His win eight from that game, 18,019. He basically dominated the battle. He didn't get more kills than anyone else, but he certainly, uh, well, I suppose he might have actually, uh, but he certainly did dominate it and it was playing to his tune. And in fact, actually, some of his teammates could have joined in uh, and then they only did really towards the end of the game when he'd already done most of the work. You can see here, you have to scroll the page to see all the results. Let's have a look at the team score. Highest damage was 2,690 hit points. Second highest damage was one of the enemy tanks who's not mentioned here, 2,384 hit points. And the third highest damage, well, that went to the OI on the enemy team with 1,351. When it came to kills, he's got that one too. Six kills to him, two kills to the KV-2, the Dickamax on his own team. And on the enemy team, that unknown tank and an SU-8. I think these are the Polish tank destroyers or... They might be those new Polish tank destroyers or something else anyway. And when it came to base XP, he's got that one as well. So he's got the top in all three columns, just like he did on the previous game. 1,601. He's the only one to get over 1,000. And boy, did he do well. 
697 went to the KB2 on his own team and just beating the mystery tank on the enemy team is the ARL 44 with 658 and the ARL picked up a steel wall. He fired 32 rounds on this game, 28 uh, direct hits and 25 penetrations. 2,690 hit points of damage, of which 1,728 were at more than 300 meters. So he did get a lot of um, uh, damage at long range, but he also did some close range work as well. Three hits received, two penetrations, one hit by way of splash damage. Five enemy vehicles spotted, nine enemy vehicles damaged, six destroyed, 1,082 hit points of spotting assist. He not only spotted for the kill of the SU-8, the SU-8 did get that splash damage on him. Got a shotgun in just before he died. Um, but uh, the Hummel, when he was just um, the other side of the building, it really would have been difficult for him to uh, get both of them. Although I wasn't sure if the Hummel had actually fired, but uh, if he'd actually got the next shot on the SU-8 and killed him, then he still had to deal with the Hummel and he might have got a Piscucci's out of it as well, but he was really just showing off at this point uh, why he has three marks. He got a profit out of this game, even though he used a lot of premium ammo, 23,887 credits profit, mostly down to that uh, completing a mission for 55,000. He got 25 bonds for another mission achievement, and on top of that, 5,524 experience points as well. So it's a particularly good battle, and you can see why three marks. Yes, it's uh, it's what he's doing with the A46, or at least I think it is what he's doing with the A46. So two really good battles in two light tanks, and the one on the British side and one on the American side, both premiums. Um, but yes, they just handled slightly differently. And um, I'm not sure which one Picklefish 44 prefers, but I suspect it might be that one because that's the one he's three marked first. Hope you enjoyed both those replays. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it beats the algorithm. And thank you for watching.